Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Monster Rancher 2. In the last episode, we introduced Hachifusa and I gave my excuses, I mean reasons, for why I didn't upload uh, anything for a long time. Uh, in this episode, we're going to send Hachifusa to the Artemis Cup, and hopefully he does well. Um, I've actually tried recording once already, and I wasn't really satisfied with the product, so I already kind of know how he's going to... Gonna go, go, gonna do, going to do. Is gonna a word? G O N N A. I mean, I I guess it's just slang for going to. But although I don't really want to call it slang because it's not like, it's not like it's used by the hip young happening people. It's just uh something that I guess in North America in general. Maybe? Maybe it's a worldwide thing. Maybe the Brits say gonna. What you gonna do about it? Uh oh. Uh, okay. So, um. Hopefully, man. Screw this guy. Seriously. Oh, jeez. You know, I kinda want Hachifusa to have more speed, actually, because I really wanna see him be like a. Even though he's not supposed to be, it'd be pretty interesting to see him be like a glass cannon type of monster. Oh well. Oh no. Oh no. That's not good. All that work taken down by one chop. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, good. Oh no. Come on, Hachifusa. Do move. And don't do foolery. Yes! Alright. I can't believe we won that one. I can't believe we won that one. <laughs> Hachifusa, how did you dodge all that crap? I mean, Oakley Man doesn't have the best skill, but... You must you must be slim, now that I think about it. Because you're taking quite a bit of damage, aren't you? Oh, you know what? I've been giving you a lot of nuts oil. That's probably the reason why. Well, I'm going to have to start giving you candies uh, during the week. Just to cancel that out. Ow. Puppy, no. Don't. <laughs> it doesn't do a lot of damage, so I'm not too worried. But speaking of not a lot of damage, Hanchifusa, I really need to increase your power. Okay, maybe not. I mean, that was, <laughs> that was a crit, but still. Oh, no, 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 okay. Woo! Here we go. Yeah, alright. Nope. Nope. Yep. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Alright. Mm. My throat is still a little bit sore. So I'm, I'm still trying not to get a little too excited. But then recording is never like a good... Um, it's never like a healthy thing to do. How do I want to say this? Talking, talking, talking for uh, so long. It doesn't do anything to help your voice, and for sure, I I'm starting to feel like I just tried to record and I didn't like it. So I guess it's my own fault for uh, uh, drinking on the weekend and hurting my throat that way. Uh, Whenever I drink, I always get loud and obnoxious, so that's another reason why my uh, throat is probably sore from that. But, anyways, uh, I wanted to, this is uh, the day after, I'm recording this the day after I recorded and uploaded that uh, episode 235, so it is really bad, oh, mm, interesting. The video skipped for me. Did it skip for anybody else? Because it skipped for me. And now the music is a little bit wonky. But not very. Also, Hachifusa just dominated this turn. He didn't get a KO. Well, let me rephrase that. He got a KO against Leon, but he didn't uh, uh, destroy Oakley Man or Lontar. Hmm. I can just tell that the audio is... Uh, sounding weird right now. 
Oh well. It's uh, it's I'm just, I'm just gonna have to deal with that because there's no way I'm going to uh, be able to fix that if it is. Uh, well, no, no. There, the, um, well, I mean, there's a way I could fix it, but it'd be such a hassle. There's no way I would. Mm -mm. I would just chalk that up to things that I should do but don't do. Oh, hey, there's that controller. <laughs> my uh, my sister's boyfriend lives in well. Yeah, he pretty much lives here at our place, and that leg is really getting on my nerves. Uh, he has his PlayStation 3 here, and I used one of his controllers for a little bit, just to, uh, for my own uh, means. I tried to use it with my computer, but unfortunately... I guess it's kind of difficult to set up the drivers. I did it once before, but I can't. I haven't been able to do it again. And uh, yeah, he was looking for one of his PS3 controllers, and oh, there it is in my drawer. I can see it clear as day. Oh. Well. So uh, let's sell this statue. Here we go. Sculpture, rather. Quite a nice price for that. I can't remember what the sculpture does. It does something, but it's not too impressive, so... Okay. After seeing that battle, you need more power and more skill. So, let's do that. Damn it! <laughs> ah, Chifus, no! I don't want you to... Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to give you some smoke snake here. So, so yeah, I recorded yesterday, and uh, I'm recording today, and it's part of this new thing that I'm uh, trying out called "Don't Break the Chain." I guess it was something that Jerry Seinfeld came up with, and essentially, all you have to do is when you're working towards a goal. Uh, rather than looking ahead and seeing like how far you like the end of the goal do something to reach that goal every day and if uh, if you and then like imagine a bunch of links of chains going across the calendar and if you don't do something uh, working towards that goal on one day, you've essentially broken the chain on that one day. So, yeah, I guess Jerry Seinfeld, it was for how, uh, somebody asked him how he can write so much, so many jokes and so many materials and come up with so many things, and he said, uh, it's because of his thing, don't break the chain. So, Hanchi Fusa! You're breaking the chain! Hachifusa, come on! I mean, you're trying, and you're failing, but you're trying, so I guess it's not really breaking the chain. <laughs> um, but yeah, I guess it really puts it into perspective of working, not working towards something, but slowly building up to a goal, so you can always like look behind you and say, I've done all of this and it's all towards that one goal. <laughs> I'm, I'm stuffy, my throat is sore. I think I'm going to end the episode. Uh, I want to thank you all for watching. Uh, comment question of the episode, even though nobody ever answers this. Except for like two people. You know who you are. And thank you. Uh, <laughs> what would you most like to ask God? Tricky question. Especially since I'm agnostic, borderline atheist. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's it's a very serious topic and question. Like you you meet your maker, like literally. Uh, so I don't know. I could ask him like, why have you? Why did you make me? Or why did you? Why is there so much strife and poverty and trouble in the world? Why did you give so much to a few and so little to many? But I think I'd ask him, 
Why the hell did you make the platypus? What the hell were you on when you made the platypus? <laughs> because it's it's an essential question. What the hell? It's it's a mammal, but it lays eggs. It it's deadly. I guess it's got like poison barbs or something. I don't know. It it looks like a beaver, but it also looks like a duck, and it makes no sense. Why? Why does it not make any sense? I don't know. But uh yeah. Why the platypus? Uh, in the next episode, we're going to... Uh, I'm, I'm not too sure. Probably just train Hachikusa. Uh, I might send him to an air train next episode, but... Really, I don't know. He's probably not ready for that, and he's probably not going to be ready for that for a while. Probably until he's like a year old. So, again, thank you all for watching. Until next time, I'll see you all then. And I sincerely hope that the audio wasn't too messed up from that one little skippage. Bye!